Hello, oh, everybody. I'm trying to get that. Get some new content out for you. Working on my easel. It's a little Alexander tabletop. It's a. Uh, we're missing a wing nut here. Went to the hardware, but it was already closed. So I had to go to Mall Ward. And they didn't have anything. But I'm trying to stick this lamp. I'm going to router out this. And then I'll bolt this to that. And I'll have this post here. I'll have another plexi like this. And I'll stick it in the top here so I can have two lights. That'd be really sweet. And I'm just going to drill a hole in that base here. I have to go through this pipe. And then I have a board that will stick behind it. But yeah, I just need to plug in. I guess I could just stick it in with some nails, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. I tried bending this pipe, but that don't look too good. I would get some nicer nap. I have a flex pipe somewhere that'll probably work in this. It's just a, I don't know what size that is, half inch, something like that. But yeah, get this going and I'll, I'll paint something on here for real. Something real nice and lovely. Yeah, this is a pretty nice easel. I had to go to 30 inch wide or from here to the top. And yeah, you can see through that canvas. It's a Conda. Yeah, Conda, 100% cotton. I'm bleached. It is just so. So I got from Amazon 16 by 20. Which I'll, this is just going to be a test kind of. I guess stabbed it with something there. Don't go all the way through, but it worked the gesso off. But I'm going to get some big ones. <clears throat> 30 by 20 by 30 or 40 by 30. Uh, true battery craft. So I had to drill with these. Low tech. <laughs> that worked. Get the bolt in there. And I drilled a little bigger hole on this side. But it's a square lug to sit. I'm gonna get this all bolted up. Right, just like that. But. I forgot to get a plug in, so I have to go back to the hardware. The hardware closed now. I like with heater tough with the torch I couldn't find my other flexible shafts if it doesn't do temporarily I just spent the last hour feeding the cable it's all pinched and I put a piece of black tape on the end and it went right in which I would have thought about an hour ago but in the meantime I cracked this so I had to put a, a hose clamp on it and it's all tight and stable I'm gonna wire up this socket but I was noticing that it's wobbly. A couple little rivets, brass rivets at the bottom. I think I'm going to take a punch and a hammer and I'm going to tighten that up. I don't like it being loose. And then I'll wire this up and we'll be back. So that's why I did this. Because this is inside, you can't set it on something. 
So I took this big nail and set that like like this. And then I just set this on top. Anyway, set the nail on the hole in there and then just took a screwdriver and lightly, lightly tapped it. And it's tight. So that's nice. We'll have the bulb sorting out. I have to figure out which way to wire this because uh, I know polarity does kind of matter because I'm burning fluorescence but I'm going to use the striped wire these wires are different one smooth focus okay, you can see this one here on the top is rigid and the bottom one's smooth so we'll hook the rigid one to the brass and the solid one to the silver because that's the way the other one's wired up and I got a plug in but yesterday but it didn't work so I had to get this bigger one so my cord would fit in and of course it cost a more for this one the other one had two little tiny ones that just stuff the wire in and crimp it down and slide the jack outside on it but this one is probably yeah, much better safer Last a lot longer, and I don't have to drill it out and modify it to make it work. All right, we'll be back. You can see this, but I put a, a knot. It's weird it don't show up in there. Let's there put a knot on there so it don't pull through. Let's see. Uh, wrap the wire uh, clockwise so when you tighten it. It uh, tightens the wire. If you tighten it, put it the other way, it would unravel the wire and make a mess. But uh, this is the way it was in the factory too. This long piece sticking up. Well, I'm cutting that crap off because that's that's a hazard. All right, we'll be back. All right. Uh, so I uh, marked these vent pipe and the flexible pipe. You can see I have two different cables, and this is the long one. So I'm going to cut these right here. I'm going to solder them and put heat shrink tubing on them. And that's going to take a while. Get the soldering iron all warmed up and stuff. So I'll show you after I'm finished. Uh, you can see this. I just put them up like this and this and twisted them a little bit I got the heat shrink tubing on here ready so I'm going to solder them up we'll be right back so I got this all soldered up nicely this one's almost too short but it's alright sealed up good I don't want to take black tape and actually tape that up here and tape the wires together down here and how to keep anything from getting in there. I might put actually a layer of tape over this one. It's a little shorter. But they're soldered together good. Uh, no, uh, I pulled on them real good and they don't come apart. And that's the trick keeping the wire up and letting the, wire, the solder melt on the wire, not the soldering iron. That way you know it's up to temperature, whatever you're soldering to. But yeah, now I just gotta put this plug in on and I do that be ready. We have had to <clears throat> split it one and a half inches, which each uh, nub of my finger is one inch long. I know this, and then it said to strip about three fourths of an inch of wire, 19 centimeters, something like that. 1.9 centimeter. Yeah, 1.9 centimeters, three quarters of an inch, and then uh, we'll put this thing together. This just comes apart. Yeah, this is a convertible type. What I call convertible. It actually has screws in there. That's nice. So see, so I can match up the the leads. The hot really needs this side really needs to go, even though 
it's not polarized. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, I guess if uh, it don't work right, we get the flickers or something weird. We can turn it around, and plug it in the other way. All right, we'll see how this goes. And this is a neat trick too. You can take your screwdriver and you just kind of bend the wire, hook the wire over it, and now it's just ready to hang right on there, tighten it up. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, this is a why they wanted to inch and a half because it'll fold down in here. This spots. And just closes. Put the bulb in there and, and we're done. Let's try it out in a minute. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, good. I like the white contrasting with the black cable. All the way over down in the dark somewhere, you can see it better. I just have some test bulbs in it now. But it works. I didn't want to burn out my good ones if something was wrong. Ah, yeah, three-way switch. It's weird because my I bought that fixture for that light, and I couldn't find one that wasn't a three-way. It does that same thing when you turn it on. Turn it the first click, don't turn it on, but it flashes. It's just kind of weird. That was just one. And I don't have a shield on this one. It'll be alright though. Let's get this all done. It's pretty bright. A little too bright. Two different colors, so. I think it'll help with color blending and just make it look better. But this, this is way too bright. So I'm making this shield. So I don't need this one on all the time. If I get a shield. It's just. That's much better. This is not shining my face. And I improved on these. I put a kind of a rough metal washer in here, so it'll help hold. I'm gonna put a washer inside here, which there wasn't one. On this, uh, so it holds it really tight. Just extra weight. This tightens right up. Yeah, it worked out. Get these koi on here. Hopefully, next day or two. Right, thanks for watching.